This video is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. The Great Courses Plus is the next evolution of The Great Courses, which was already giving you access to thousands of videos online in all sorts of topics, such as uh, investing, entrepreneurship, photography, literature, math, you name it. The Great Courses Plus is actually their next level video streaming on-demand service, and it's a great way to basically make you a better you and help you do what you want to do even better. So click the link down below. You'll help out the channel. More importantly, you're going to help yourself out. Now on to the shenanigans. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing the new CD from ZP Herring titled Everything is Fine. From the first note, it's clear there's a message and a story arc that is being conveyed here. I hope you're ready for a trip, Room Sixers, because it's about to get weird. If you're enjoying the content Room Six is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. What do you get when you cross Rob Zombie, Frank Zappa, Muddy Waters, and Pennywise? You get C.P. Herring, bringing a mix of horror and technology to this album that's perfectly suited to the current state of world affairs. Reminiscent in some ways, but a definite departure from his last EP, Beyond, this 10-song album instantly makes the listener feel ways about things. Keeping to the concept art theme we experienced on his last EP, the album starts off with Burn, an atmospheric little tune that immediately ties into the album art with a repeating chant of, burn it down, burn it down. And it lets you know right away that you're in for an interesting time. Synthesizer sounds and theremin sounding squeals stuck on loop a la Psycho bring a heightened level of stress that sets the tone for the next song, which is Spy vs. Spy. Whoopsie. The second song on the CD introduces a catchy riff that gets interrupted by a breakdown meant to draw attention to lyrics like, Your security is compromised. The song seems to harken back to Cold War espionage, yet feels current in today's revolutionary climate. Song number three on the album is Ugly Waltz Joe, but it's actually a blues-inspired tune. Like most of the album, there's a heavy use of the kettle drum to create an overall dark theme with corresponding creepy lyrics to match. Nightmare Radio is the fourth song, as the song constantly reminds us, ZP really loves the old-time creep show Nightmare Radio, and this whole album has it in spades. With Rats, the fifth song on the CD, we're treated to a more upbeat, almost Alice Cooper feeling tune that makes me wish I was road tripping an old caddy through the desert. Lyrically, the words seem to ooze out like a syrup, like a wave of rodents that find their way into every nook and cranny. Don't Wake the Devil is song number six, and it's the shortest on the album, though it's not lacking in sonic punch or creepy content. This actually reminds me of the song Lover Man by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, uh, it was covered by Metallica as well. It wouldn't be a horror-themed creep fest without a song about werewolves, right? Fortunately, the seventh song, Wolfman Blues, is here to serve, though it's not as bluesy as some other tunes on the album. Surprisingly, the main guitar parts reminded me of some 80s rock, such as Robert Palmer, but don't worry, lyrics like Feel my injections when I'm through your veins, you ain't got no protection. The things are still appropriately freaky. Song number eight has the best song title on the album, Illustrious Steam-Powered Music Man. It's equal parts classic rock and upbeat blues with just a little calliope thrown in for good measure. The longest song on the album, Which is in the Moonlight, gives ZP a chance to have some fun with his vocals and phrasing. I got the feeling that this song helped shape the rest of the album, though I might be wrong. Out of every song on this concept album, this one reminds me of Strange Mistress, another local act. Rotting in the Well finishes off the CD, bringing things back down to a slower pace that accentuates the thematic overtones of the entire album. Between the vocal effects that make you lean in to hear the words better, to the sparse, haunting guitar parts, uh, the song wraps up the story quite nicely. A great effort overall, and Z.P. Herring should be very proud. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that you'll check out ZP's new uh, CD, Everything is Fine, by clicking the link down in the description. Um, if you have a CD that, that you want to you know, get reviewed or you want to do an interview, please, please hit me up. Uh, all, all that information is in the description as well. If you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, stay strong, stay safe, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.